I hope you've had a good weekend. Today we are going to look at one of our um, viewers' requests for a show all about the most important meal of the day. No, not that spoonful of Nutella right out of the jar at 2 in the morning. I'm sure I'm talking about breakfast. Of course, I'm sure that is breakfast for some people. I haven't done that much this week. Anyway, let's just get right to it, shall we? Let me get my hot bar back. Let me get back into first person. Uh, what did I do there? Okay, obviously I need to fix my... Oh, that's right, that's where the elevator is. <laughs> Scare me to death for a second. Okay, don't mind me, I'm just getting anal about my uh, decorations here. Okay. Now, there are a number of breakfast foods available in Magic Farm. Of course, if you're in a hurry, you can just throw some bread in a furnace or into a frying pan and fry up some toast. There's also uh, smoothies are an option, which are pretty much any fruit, plus the juicer right here, and a snowball. But if you have time, you want to eat a good breakfast. So, there are a number of recipes here. Let me get this out of here, because I don't need that right this second. Let's start with eggs. There are so many ways to cook eggs. You can take your skillet and make a fried egg. And I'm actually going to keep that because I'm going to need it in a minute. Or instead of a skillet, you can use a saucepan and make a scrambled egg. I'll just keep that there. I take that away. Or let me get that back on the shelf. You can take a pot and make a boiled egg. All of which are morsels. Which are not going to help you out a whole lot if you are starving. Unless you have a crap ton of eggs, as you would if you use my kind of chicken and egg farm. But you can take uh, the fried egg in particular, you can make other stuff out of, and I'll get to that later. If you want to fancify your eggs a little bit, you can make an omelet. That requires the skillet, an egg, and a couple of veggies, just a bell pepper and an onion. That would be a um, western omelet, I believe. And that turns into a light meal that will keep you satisfied a little bit longer. If you want something a little heartier, you can go with the good old holy trinity of breakfast foods, pancakes, waffles, and french toast. You can start off with plain old pancakes, which is a skillet, an egg, and just milk and flour. Whisk it all together, pour it into your skillet, and you get some delicious pancakes. You want to upgrade those pancakes a little bit further, you just plop them back into your crafting grid, along with a blueberry. And that gives you some delicious blueberry pancakes. Unfortunately, your chocolate chip pancakes and red velvet pancakes are not an option in this game. I am so sorry. So much for our IHOP dreams. Waffles are a little more complex. Uh, there's your skillet again. It's flour, egg, butter, and milk. And unfortunately, you can't really do anything else with waffles. But the next up the ladder, of course, is going to be your French toast, which is a nourishing meal and keep you happy for a long time. That is your skillet, your toast, an egg, some pinch of sugar, pinch of, sh <laughs> pinch of cinnamon. Beat the egg together with the sugar and the cinnamon. Drag your bread through it, throw it in the pan. And that gives you delicious French toast. Unfortunately, there is no maple syrup to put on them, I don't think. This is just a uh, hole. Maple saplings? Oh, is it? No, no. You get the trees. You even get sugar maples, but you don't get syrup out of them. That's very sad. I'm I'm very sorry to all my Canadian viewers. We have no maple syrup for you. Now the granddaddy of breakfasts is going to be. It's going to start off, first of all, with your fried egg. Then we're going to need to make some potato cakes, otherwise known as hash browns. To that end, we will chop up a potato and an onion and just kind of mash them up into patties and fry them up in butter. 
That will give you some yummy potato cakes. Now you will need to take, let's see if I can do this off the top of my head. I believe it's toast, an egg, potato cakes. I've got some pork chops cooking up over here. Pork chop. And you'll need some kind of juice, some kind of fruit juice. Uh, let's see, I've just got some good old OJ here. There we, there we go, I did it. And this will work with pretty much any fruit juice. But this is going to be one of your nourishing feasts, which are some of the best foods in the game that will keep you very full and very happy for a very long time. This is the hearty breakfast. It has everything you need to start your day off right and keep it going right for a long, long time and possibly into the next day too. So that is our look at breakfast foods. Unfortunately, this particular mod pack does not have Nutella in it. I know there is one out there that does. If I find it, I'll let you know. I know I've seen it before. I want to say it's the Food Plus mod that uh, Magic Farm does not have. I think that's in the newer version of the New World mod pack, though. Right. That is our look at the most important meal of the day. Second only to that spoonful of Nutella. And as always, if there is any kind of certain cuisine that you'd like to see me do, just drop me a line. I will take a look at it. I'll see what I can do. Um, cake and dessert were another one that was requested and I am getting to that that will require me to build a bakery which is something I've been wanting to do and I will get around to that probably in the next couple of weeks or so thank you for joining me folks until next time bon appetit I will see you next week bye bye